Now one of the viewers was saying that he thought that possibly there was more stuff in behind here yet. And I just sort of gave up. I didn't even want to bother looking in, inside here uh, because I, all, I could, all I could see was a couple of wires coming out. And I just assumed there wouldn't be any more stuff because, you know, I, I figured if they were going to make a circuit board, they would probably have everything on one side. They wouldn't put anything else in behind. So I gave up yesterday, but you know what? I'm going to see if I can't just uh, score this. This this is some sort of glass or ceramic, you know. Uh, this this part here is plastic, so it was easy to just cut with a knife. But this is it feels like some kind of glass or ceramic. So I'm going to see if I can't just score this all the way around, and then maybe it'll sort of break off. I don't have a diamond wheel, but I do have a metal wheel, and I think it'll it'll probably scratch pretty good. Yes, there is. There's another little circuit board in there. See if I can yank that out. This might be a capacitor, and I've had surprising experiences with capacitors that I thought were discharged, and they, <laughs> and they weren't. So I'm going to be very careful here. I think maybe I'll just uh, short it out right here, just in case. Okay. I would assume it's completely discharged. So I can get that out without hurting myself here. It looks like it's just plugged in. There we go. Oh, I got a little I think I got a little shock off it. Either that or I was imagining it. So I think that's, uh, it'll handle up to, it means it'll handle up to 250 volts and looks like uh, 22 microfarads. Uh, that's what I'm getting out of it anyway. So there was more up in there. And then there's stuff on the other side that I have no clue what it is. So to that viewer who suggested that maybe there was more stuff in behind, Thanks for the suggestion. Yeah. <laughs>